All right, what is it? Uh, Friday, 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 April 30, not April, I wish it was April, March 31st. Um, working on the new meters, hoppers here. A load of beans going out, just got the green light. Um, but I just thought I'd show you this. I gotta get going here. I gotta run down to Rochester and get my grandma from the hospital. She's ready to come home. Um, but I thought I'd show you these and then you guys can watch me install well half of one because we got through six of them and this is the actual I, I'm, not, I'm not a planter expert by any means and I'm it'll become very apparent to you guys <laughs> but uh, so this is the actual meter as I understand it the motor and this is the hopper unit so the this black portion right here let back up with my phone here my GoPro charged all night now it says 0% battery so that's wonderful um, so with my phone here so this part folds open you can change the discs if you want to plant soybeans the brush settings it clips in there right um, this line here connects to the hopper goes back to the tank that's where you get the seed this hose creates the vacuum okay um, what we're doing this is a whole new unit that he got the electric shutoffs um, should make the planter very a lot better more accurate save some seed too um, better I don't know electronics and mapping I'm not sure what all the I'm sure there's a bunch of bells and whistles that's gonna be sweet with it um, so yeah we got them all they go on pretty quick here um, we got these we got to get a cord that goes from here to here. This this is tight. That's all the further John Deere made it, but it's got to get to here. So we'll get in a little extension. But these are those are hooked up. They should be ready to go. These were six meters short. Six. See how uh, how that happens um, on a 12 row planner is beyond me. On like a 36 row planner, I can see how. That might happen, but uh, called over there, and they're going to look around the shop and get us the other six here. But this is what it looks like without the meter, just the hopper portion, okay? Um, I got two done here. So I got two more to go. I just I took them all off this morning, but I'll show you guys. So this bracket here, this is what the old meters used to connect to. So... Just a flat plate. So I took those off. Throw it in here for now. And these are two of the new ones. The old ones are right there. So they had different style hookup. So whatever. We're putting these on. Um, you guys can watch me put one on. Soybean seed all here in the totes. The conventional non-GMO corn. Right here. Uh, what is this? One, two, three, four pallets here. 126 bags. This is 40 bags. And then we got 60 more bags to go um, to have all the stuff. Let me see with my phone. Slide this bag back. If I can lean you guys up right here. Maybe. Maybe if I put a. Sorry for bouncing around. Maybe if I go like this, I'll take a bag of bolts. Oh boy, this is a this is a little bit of a cluster. That might work as long as you guys don't tip over. All right. So what we got to do here? You can see, see what I'm looking at here. So, oops. This is very similar to what was on there before, right? Just a flat plate, but then it requires this whole thing to support it. So that's what I'm doing. Putting them on here. They're quite a long bolt, uh, but I have to get them cranked in there. Right? Uh, it's very sturdy, so I guess it's a good thing. Um, what else is going on? We got the grain drill out. We debated, you know, should you should a guy plant soybeans with this thing again this year? But I think we're gonna give the grain drill a try again. Don't. The planter is nice. Uh, it does a good job with depth control and population control and placement, but um, the 
grain drill. These always seem to get a little bit better of a yield. They seem to feed in the combine a lot better, I guess, would be the best way to, they go through the combine um, at any angle. Like with the road beans, you seem to have to catch them at the perfect angle to get them to feed, otherwise they like to come in a bunch of them. If you don't got a draper head, it can be a little bit of issues. It wasn't a big deal, don't get me wrong. There's pluses and minuses to both. Um, I don't know, but I think we're gonna try the drill, but if it, something goes wrong, we'll probably end up transitioning back. Um, this one already got put together. I'll show you guys how. To... So there's a bracket uh, right here. Let's see. You can see the track here. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at. And this here, and this is a pain to put in. Some of them are sliding in easy, and some of them are are fighting me. Right. That one was the easiest one today. Maybe I should have been filming the whole day. A, lot, a few of them we've been having to hit like 10 times. There's just a, uh, here, you guys can come along here. So there's just a little section here, right? You see the two bolts there? Pick it up, you drop it on the bolt, and then down it comes. And I'm just making sure those line up, it does. So I'm just gonna take it back off one more time. I'm going to lock it down. And, um, oh, before I forget, so bear with me for a couple weeks here, guys. I go back to work on Monday, April 3rd. I think that would be April 3rd, second. Maybe April 4th. No, I think that's April 3rd. I don't know. My days are all screwed up, screwed up from working days and then going in nights and blah, blah, blah. And, but starting Monday, I have to work until April. I'll be the next day off. It'll be April 13th. I got one day off in the middle. So the content or my, I won't be able to make videos as much. Okay. So just bear with me. We're not going to be planting before then anyways. So. Let's get, let me get to that day and then um, I'll make some videos of planting. We'll be planting by then. So, little clip here. That's not quite, I mean, it's tight, but I'll like, I'll cinch this down a little more. Should be pretty good. So, you just clip in there. And now it's solid. Okay. Um, seed holes I can hook up the vacuum I cannot because the vacuum hooks into the meter itself. I want to pull it out of here. It got in there all goofy on me. So these, you just plug in, twist. It's locked. Um, when the planter unfolds in some of those places, we had taped them last year and we probably will because that's an expensive oopsie if that comes off and it's spraying seed everywhere. Here's our new line set up, teed it off, little valve to shut off going down to the to the normal where you'd put starter on, and the bigger hose going back to where you would do um, the two by two new applicator thing. So that's what's going on. Um, I'm gonna quick slap this one on real fast, and I'm gonna get driving to Rochester get grandma and then work on a couple things at home or on the yard and then um, yeah not much going on tomorrow probably gonna go over to lacrosse wisconsin for a few things sunday we don't do work on sunday and well, at least out here we don't do work on sunday do a few things around home i suppose and then uh monday start back at work so bear with me we're almost ready just trying to fine tune we got to get all the electronics plugged in and work on the computer so all right, thanks.